this. Mitt Romney just took another shot at former President Jimmy Carter. Okay, Mitt, you picked this fight, so let's start with guts. President Carter had the guts to take two warring countries, Israel and Egypt, to Camp David and came back with a peace treaty. Carter had the guts when the Soviet Union invaded Afghanistan to cut off grain shipments to them and to the invader, even if it hurt American farmers on the eve of the Iowa caucuses. He refused to send American athletes to the Moscow Olympics. Why? Because he knew this was a way to reach the Soviet Union where it hurts. President Carter had the guts to give the Panamanians control of the Panama Canal against all the right-wing hooting and hollering. That's right. Things didn't turn out right for him politically, but that's politics, and he took it hard. But whatever you say about Carter, he regularly, relentlessly did the things that were good for the country, pushing human rights around the world, pushing for energy conservation. The country club boys had a lot of fun with that one. Pushing for an end to nuclear nonproliferation. He worried about the things we worry about today and took stands that needed to be taken, like making sure nuclear weapons didn't get in the hands of the wrong people. Reagan, remember, said that was none of our concern. Speaking of which, it's not really when you think about all that gutsy to call for tax cuts. It's not gutsy to say fill her up and go buy yourself a big car. It's not gutsy, Mitt, to buckle the Grover Nordquist and sign any piece of paper he puts in front of you on taxes so he won't take you off his list, or buckle to the neocons by installing them all around you, or buckling to the right and dumping any gay staffer who dares show himself. What is Mitt Romney entitled to question Jimmy Carter? Try this one on for size, Mitt. The first time you show a wit of the guts, that man did. Again, Jimmy Carter, again and again and again. And that's hardball for now.